in the 24th lecture of uh, the physical calculus so we were we are solving the problem of indeterminate form of uh, infinite zero point zero form now in this lecture also 24a 24a also we are also in 24a we are also solving the problem of indeterminate form of the type zero by zero so the next problem is prove that the index is true to zero of uh, x is for x minus log of 1 plus x upon x square is equal to 3 by 2. Again, left hand side, limit x is to 0 of x into e square x minus log of 1 plus x upon x square. Put x equal to 0 to check whether we can apply L of 0 or not. Put x is 0, 0, 0 into n number 0, log of uh, 0, log of 1 is 0, 0 by 0 form. So we can apply L hospital to this form fx upon gx. Uh, gx uh, or we can use the expansion of e square x and uh, log of 1 plus x so you, you, you solve it by uh, using a, a, a l hospital rule here i'm solving it by putting put by substituting the expansion the expansion so e is the e x is equal to expansion is x equal to 1 plus x plus x square to 2 plus x to 2 plus, plus x so 4 4 plus 2 will solve log of 1 plus x expansion of log of 1 plus x 1 plus x is equal to x minus x square by 2 plus x square by 3 minus x square by 4 plus x square by 5 by 5 and so on uh, take on the left hand side to replace e square x by its expansion and log of 1 plus x by its expansion in the numerator and simplify them multiply by x and rearranging the terms x is to x is to x x inside and now in the neutral you will have x square uh, now read the terms and cancel out the same x minus x cancel you can x x terms x square term and x cube term because you have only x in the neutral so so uh, you you are supposed to write only up to the one degree higher than the option uh, because this way you can polynomial in x the polynomial in x so uh, you write just one degree higher, you take the terms of one degree higher in the uh, exponent of degree. And also, after simplification, you got this is equal to um, x cancel, this is equal to uh, x square plus x square 2, x cube by 2 minus x cube by 3. So simplify them, x square comes out from x square comes out from common, this will be equal to this is equal to. 1 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 3 by 2. This is 1 by 2 minus uh, 1 by 3 is equal to 6 LCM. This is 3 minus 2, 1 by 6. And x will common from this, from this, from the higher terms also. So we got x here. Now it becomes very easy. x will cancel out. Now this becomes a polynomial function. You can directly substitute the value. So 0. In the higher terms, every term, zero, every term after this x, uh, second term. Contains x, so if you put x equals 0 in each term, all the terms of infinity are 0, you are left with the limit. This is going to be 0. This is easy, very easy to find the limit after expansion. Uh, evaluate the limit x is 0 of 1 plus sin x is 1 by 3 minus so 1 minus sin x is 1 by 3 upon x. I put x equals 0 and 0, 0, and 0, 0, 1, 2, 1 by 3, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1 by 3, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, x, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is zero zero form. So, uh, solution is a this is a left hand side is a rational number. Indeed, this is a, is a rational number. Okay, so therefore, expansion uh, with the help of the binomial theorem, you can rationalize. You can rationalize this also. Or you can apply the binomial theorem expression for any integer. One plus n x and n. So you know when you have binomial theorem, n index is equal to one plus x is by n. Index is any number, any integer, any power, any rational number. Power. One plus n x plus n n is n minus one to two x square and so n into n minus one n minus two over two to the so on. Now substitute the expression both the terms one plus n x is equal to three. X is sin x. And in the case of 1 plus uh, sin x is equal to 3, in the second case x is equal to minus sin x, and then it's equal to 3. Substitute the, the, substitute the, 
this in the both limits. So the limit is zero of pan minus nx into one minus one over of square and so infinity. Similarly, the second term also. Now rearrange rearrange the terms like what like add the cancel out the contractor in the terms and we got is equal to uh, three sine by three sine x minus uh, uh, then the three sine cube x upon x. Now x equals zero. Zero sine zero 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 zero, zero one. So here you can write this sine x is there, sine x is there. So you can apply the uh, uh, sine of the formula to zero. And the next one and the sine of the x one get left with sine square x. Now limit x to zero. Uh, we are searching for the constant term. So we do like three other terms to zero and then to three. Now prove that limit x is to one of e to x minus e to x minus x upon one minus x minus log of x is equal to three. Again, taking the different side. Now the variable in the exp exponent. So we have to solve such problem in different manner. So in order to check whether the this is a, now you know that this is a one raised to one, one minus one upon one, one minus one log of zero zero four. Now and therefore. So L has to do limit x is one of for dx of numerator on dx of numerator. So dx numerator is equal to dx x over x over x minus dx of x over dx of x. Over x is dx x over x upon dx of one plus x is dx of x. So now dx of x is for x. We can put in plus to plus. When x is power, we have put y taking down both sides and then uh, both, both sides. Uh, and then differentiating this to x, and we got the of y square x is equal to x over x, 1 plus log of x. So dx of x over x is equal to x is power x, x is power x raised to power x into x to x, 1 plus log of x. Now again, Put the value, put the value in this. So this is one, you get this one, you have equal to one, this is log of one over x. Differentiating. Now again, put x equal to one. One to one, log of one, zero. One minus one, zero by zero one. Again, differentiating with x. Or you can simplify here also. So we have here, or again, differentiating with x. This is zero from, when you call zero from, you can uh, apply L hop to the whatever. Uh, form condition form. What are the, what the condition of the function? So this is equal to uh, again. So this is equal to put a rule u to v u differential of v plus differential uh, u into u to v. So this is equal to is the x the x of one zero over one x plus is the x the x of the x of uh, x over x. Now put x equal to 1 in this case. 1. 1 1 to 1. 1 to 1. This is 1 to 1. This will log of 1. 1 plus 1 to 1. 1 plus 1 upon 1 is equal to 1 is equal to 2. Now to the real limit, x equals to 0 of 1 plus x equal to 1 x. The Upon x. Now, e minus e upon x is 0, e minus e upon x. Make it to 0. This is the integral form. Now, expansion 1 plus x equal to 1 upon x. The expansion is um, e minus e x by 2 plus e 11 e x by 2 7 minus 7 7 e upon 16 x cube and so on. Okay. Substitute in this case minus e. Minus e and upon x. So the definition of one plus x will be substituted here. Cancel out the contractor, cancel out. Take out the contractor, x is common. x will be cancelled for x common head generator, each term of infinity. So x is cancelled out. We are left with uh, or divided by x. Each term x, 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 x. So we are left with uh, only one term with, without x, other terms contain x, that x equals 0. Other term is of zero, and then you are, you are left with that. Now, next question is 
determine the value of a and b so that the limit x is to 0 of x into uh, 1 plus a cos of x minus b sin of x upon x cube exists and is equal to this limit exists it is given as the hint to this limit exists we have to find it we, we need two two simultaneous equations so we have to find two simultaneous equation in a and b so that we can find the we can put the equations now uh, this uh, fx upon limit of absolute zero of fx upon check exists and equal to one. So for the exercise means we to apply. Suppose uh, now if you take the left hand side and put x equal to zero in the middle. So numerator must be zero. If it x zero, this equals zero, sign zero is zero. This is zero. Zero zero part, we can apply that function. First function, okay, so this is equal to one zero, this is equal to cos minus sine x and uh, uh, x into one plus one x. This is x equal one, and this will be sin x equal to upon x equal to zero. Now again, put x equal to zero. Zero. This is zero, and this is one. One plus a minus b. One plus a minus b, and this is zero. So for the for the limit of the function to be one, if the limit of limit is zero. We can apply our zero if the value of numerator is equal to is also zero. That is simplified it. Okay, x is zero, simplified it, and we got this. Now put x equal to zero in it. Zero. We got one plus a minus b. For the uh, uh, for the applicability of the algebraic rule, for the uh, limit of the uh, this rational function to exist. We have to. We can apply. We can apply L hospital rule or if and only if the limit of denoted because denoted uh, denoted zero, so limit of denoted must be zero as x is equal to zero. So we got in one equation. Uh, if it x is equal to zero, zero one plus a minus b for the one plus a minus b must be zero. If one plus a minus b is zero, this will become zero by zero form, and we can apply. We can again apply L hospital rule to this. This function, so again by absolute, therefore, we can show this. You see, this will be is equal to the side square, and it will be limit x is 0 minus a. This is minus a, put up this here x, x cos of x plus sin x into 1 minus a sin x. Yes. Now put x equal to 0 again. This is 0, this is 0. And zero, this is zero, and this is zero, zero form. Again, you can apply here, zero form. So, the is unit of x, unit of x, unit of x is equal to minus a, the index of x, x is equal to x in one, cos of x, it's minus x, the index of cos x minus sin x, is equal to sin x, cos x, is equal to sin x, cos x, sin x, and the index of six x is equal to six. Now, uh, we know that limit of this function exists, therefore, uh, this must be equal to this must be equal to now, which is not equal to zero. So, put x, x to zero in this, and this must be equal to whether this would be uh, this equal to minus a one, this is equal to zero, this is equal to minus two a, and this is b minus three uh, a, b minus c upon six. Now, uh, this must be. Because the limit of function exists, so this is a finite number, so this must be equal, equal to 1. Let's be equal to 1. Why? Because the limit of function exists. This finite number has a finite number, and it must be equal to 1. So we got the other equation from the simultaneous equation, which we uh, first we got here. This is a minus b plus 1 equals 0. And second, we got here. This is equal to um, minus a plus b minus 6 equals 0. From this equation description, we can find the group a and b is equal to minus 5 by 2 and b is equal to comes out to be minus 3 by minus 3 and b comes out to a b is how much b is minus 3 by 2. A is equal to minus 5 by 2, b is equal to minus 3 by 2. Right. Now the problem show that the following limit exists but cannot be calculated by L hospital rule. Which is uh, what is the limit of it? So that this limit show that similarities. 
now we are given limit x is to 0 or actually infinity of uh, uh, x minus sin of second x. This is the position just you can't take it away. If you find that if you place x by infinity, it's infinity minus it does not exist. Infinity it does not exist, it does not exist. you can't say anything that is going to exist because this is okay. So if you directly apply a should we got this will do uh, infinity one minus even then we can if this g this is infinity infinity upon infinity and sin x we can't say the value so cos and uh, they also do infinity of cos x we can't say the value of this for similarly here this thing so we can't apply because this is not explicit uh, zero zero form or if you have form we can't apply this rule so in order to find uh, the limit of this function uh, uh, we can't apply it so we need to find the limit of the function okay, limit x is to infinity of x minus sin x upon x separate x x divided by divide the separate the term x by x and sin x upon x because of so, uh, some of the limits limit x is to infinity of 1 limit x is to infinity of x upon x so this is equal to um, limit x is to infinity of 1 1 is 1 limit x is to infinity of 1 upon x is to sin x so the uh, limit x is if f x is equal to one x and g x is equal to uh, sin x. So sin x is bounded in the in the root of if g is the limit. So that so the x x is equal to one upon x as x is infinity x will be zero. So now we need to change one is one uh, x equal to zero of x into sin upon x. Okay. Now x limit x f x is the bounded function. Limit x is equal to zero. Limit of sin x. Sin x is bounded in the limit of 0, therefore uh, the limit of product at x is 0, g x is bounded, the limit of product is equal to 0. And this is how to find the function. Thank you very much.